Very good morning to you. This is uh, the radical farmer here at Organic Farm 7. So today we are going to be talking about something very interesting, okay? So we're going to be talking about how you can actually build your depleted, destroyed soils. When we talk about farming, especially among the small scale farmers, they are mostly uh, getters, like for uh, you know hundreds of years, most scale, small scale farmers. They don't give back to the soil. What do they do? They, um, you know, they just get and get and get and get. But here about at Farm 7, we don't just get, we also give back to the soil. So the field that you see around here, it is a sun hemp field where we're intending to be growing other crops but what we do we start first by building the soil using cover crops you know just planting without building your soil is like eating without cleaning the plates you know um, you talk about you know waking up without spreading the bed whereby you are eating from what you don't care for uh, you see so what am i saying many farmers just want to get from the soil without building it many farmers are just they just want to get without you know nourishing the soil and taking care of it like i'll give an example like in nature nature gives back always you see when it rains the water goes on the ground into the sea then it evaporates it goes back where it came from you talk about the government you know we do business in zambia and you know there is tax collection so the government collects from you because you're doing business in the land of the nation it is the same principle also in farming you don't just have to be good at getting you have also to be giving back to your soil so the soil is the growing media which every farm actually uses it may be fish it may be poultry it may be animals it may be human beings we all eat what grows from the soil chickens eat feed you know uh, fish eat feed you know birds eat fish and also human beings eat food that is taken from the soil but many farmers don't take care of the soil there is no chemical way of actually doing this let me give an example fertilizers does not build the soil weed killers does not build the soil the pesticides they don't build the soil they actually destroy the soil fertilizer applied in the soil it is soluble you know it dissolves the bigger percentage goes into the ground and it's not environmental friendly so it actually disturbs the um the living uh, the, 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 the the habitation of living organisms and it also makes the soil to be acidic and far much worse the quality of fertilizer that comes in africa is low grade quality so it is not the best fertilizer you can do a research on that you'll be very shocked you talk about the weed killers they actually destroy covering like the blanket for the soil is is killed it's like breaching where you breach the skin it becomes volatile so when you add weed killer to the soil it becomes volatile when you put pesticides some of them are systemic meaning they get into the system of the plant down into the roots and they actually kill living organisms that are supposed to build the soil that is one of the reasons in southern part of zambia it is hard to grow food because for so many years farmers have been doing all these catastrophic things that uh, you know are hard to reverse and the soils have been destroyed now how do you build your soil organically so that you know it can be able to be sustainable whenever we are doing agriculture we should be looking at the sustainability part what do we mean when say the sustainability part meaning we should be able to grow food for a longer period of time with the same soil, soil without it losing its vitality and also productivity now you see as a farmer you have to be very smart you should actually know what you are doing to your soil because this is the most important asset that we have to preserve at all costs when your soil is in good terms you know it it retains moisture it retains nutrients even with the less rainfall you will be able to produce no matter what the case be because your soil is very very uh, in good shape and agriculture is contributing heavily to the destruction of the soil because of the wrong practices that 
uh, you know farmers don't balance up very well now here's a solution to all these problems that I've mentioned cover crops you know is something that can really turn things around and one crop that is very powerful for that job is sun hemp this crop that you see here no wonder you have seen commercial farmers they grow sun hemp to rejuvenate their soil retain nutrients return you know organic matter but at the same time also to build their soils that's why you see commercial farmers they are able to grow um, the same piece of land productively for a long period of time because they understand how to take care of the soil which is very uncommon practice with small scale farmers now small scale farmers they are copying from commercial farmers but they don't copy everything they're just copying part of what the commercial farmers are doing but if you don't educate yourself there's absolutely no one who is going to educate you as a farmer and here what you do if you are going to rejuvenate your soil what you have to do actually you have to plant sun hemp like what we've done here you can do two things when it is about to flower like the way it is you can actually cut it off and it decomposes so so quick like you see it is very fragile very fragile even in breaking it it breaks so easily so what does sun hemp do to the soil number one it loosens the soil if your soil is a hard pan you plant sun hemp it is going to loosen the soil and when it loosens the soil there is proper aeration gas exchange but at the same time also it is easier for crops to grow in well loosened soil okay number two sun hemp is good for you know pH stabilization there is a soil you know there are three levels of pH there is acidic there is neutral there is also alkaline so when the soil is alkaline when the soil is alkaline it locks nutrients it's like constipation the nutrients are not released when the soil is acidic it releases the nutrients it's like the soil has got dilea the nutrients are just running away they can't be you know stored in the soil okay then sun hemp stabilizes and puts the ph for the soil uh, in a very good shape number three it is organic matter so sun hemp has the capacity to go very deep like you see this one has gone more than a meter deep in terms of roots they have gone very very deep so that the taller the plants go the deeper so it's like you're injecting organic matter into the soil and then what happens is when you cut it off that organic matter decomposes what does that mean your soil has got more deep organic matter when it rains water will not run off it will go in the ground the roots of any crop you're going to grow will find it very easy to go down and that is a plus for your soil so what does this do there's more pockets for nutrients there's more pockets for water in the soil even when you have got limited rains or you have got more rains the raw, the water will not run off until you know what i mean is the pockets are filled up now when you have enough organic matter in the soil it is also good for nutritional retention because those pockets store nutrients and they are very good for living organism okay so on the other side also sun hemp is extremely very good for weed control like here we did not do any weeding it grows extremely very fast and suppresses the weeds so it's one of the ways that we use at organic farm 7 to suppress weeds without using weed killer how sweet how organic on the other side also sun hemp has the capacity to bring nutrients to the surface because it can go very deep and bring nutrients to the surface so meaning the certain crops that have got actually shallow roots sun hemp brings the nutrients to the surface okay then on the other hand sun hemp is a very very powerful crop that you can actually even use to mulch and that mulch biodegrades and actually turns out to be you know um, um, fertilized you can use it for fodder you can use it to make feed and all those things so sun hemp is a very very powerful crop it grows extremely very fast even with rest rainfall it does a wonderful job so this sun hemp you see here is about two months old and uh, some weeks but it, you can see it is already flowering now if you have a portion that you've neglected because you thought it cannot be you know useful if you have a portion that you thought is 
is very poor sand hemp is a solution to that you see so it is going to help your crops grow very well your fruit trees grow very well and if you're going to be planting tomatoes or maybe bananas sun hemp also helps in actually um, crushing down the nematodes it is a very powerful plant that every farmer who loves farming genuinely should be able actually to use you can grow it between your fruit trees in the orchard you can grow it in the new field you know damage field um, and it is capable to bring your soil back to life farm seven was built with you know sun hemp it was a very rocky place poor soils running water but you know when we planted sun hemp all that is history i'm looking forward to see you build your soils organically and as i told you earlier on there is no chemical there is no synthetic way to build soil there's only an organic way to build soil that is the reason why organic farming is the most powerful way of doing farming this is an arguably the truth you can't argue about the truth like you know the sun will always rise you can't argue about that whether you are there you are not there you believe it or not it will happen so i'm looking forward to see you transform your land and actually make sure that you become very very productive here at farm seven we do these things we leave them and actually we appreciate every grain of what we do and lastly sun hemp has the capacity to tap nutrients because it has a lot of you know nodes that you know and antennas that are able to trap like for example any lightning flashes it is loaded with a lot of nutrients nitrogen especially and sun hemp can trap nutrients from the air into the ground for now let us end here stay blessed and stay super organic and looking forward to see you visit farm seven so that you can learn about organic farming see the possibilities in organic farming we love you and we appreciate your support.